Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here, an oldie but a goodie, the Nelson Study Bible, the Nelson Study Bible. I think it came out in the New King James and is overwhelmingly seen in the New King James. I do think they came out eventually with a King James edition of this as well. So we're going to take a look at this. You can still find these all over the place, really reasonable, like under $20 reasonable. So this is who I am in Christ. Now that looks like it's pasted in, but I really like it. Ron Allen was Old Testament editor. Earl Rodmacher from up at Western Conservative is the general editor in Wayne House was the New Testament editor. This was done in 1997. And uh, then the Study Bible Editors and Contributors. So it has like Thomas Ice, uh, Daryl Bach, Barry Betzel, who does the Moody Bible Atlas, um, Laney, Walt Kaiser is a name I know. Of course, John Walford is a name I know. Bruce Waltke is a name I know. Uh, Ray Stedman is a name I know. Moshe Rosen with Jews for Jesus. Um, Richard Patterson, Liberty University. Dorothy Kelly Patterson, D. Min, and a theology doctorate candidate, Southeastern Baptist. She's been doing a lot of the lady study Bibles recently. Um, Bruce Barton, how about that? Bruce Barton was Ravi Zacharias's faculty advisor at TED's. He also helped us a lot with the premier study Bible. Philip Comfort, um, Randy Southern, let's see, Bruce Metzger, Eugene Merrill, so these are all people I have heard of before, acquainted with somewhat. Arthur Farstad, obviously. Good majority text guy. Okay, so how to understand the Bible by what it says, full view Bible summaries, in-depth articles, got a list of that, quick view charts. So back in the day, this was a real big deal. I, you know, I'll just show you why. I mean, look at this thing. This is bonded leather. I forget what I paid for this. I may, I don't remember. I want to say under 20 for sure, maybe under 10. So this is the type thing you can get. And just loaded with information. As you can see. So it's going to have the traditional notes at the bottom, not going to have references up at the top, not going to have uh, headers at the top, but it's going to have in-text divisions, little charts, ages of the patriarchs chart. But see, here we are, we're even into Genesis 5 and 6, and it's still just got an enormous amount of information. So when this came out, this was a big deal when it came out. This was obviously before the ESV was even done. So before the ESV study Bible, you'd have had the Life Application Study Bible, which would have had a lot of features, but a little more obviously applicational and not as much informational. Life Application still has some good information in it though. Like Exodus, I just randomly turned to Exodus 27. I've always been partial to blue and silver. Looks like it's Smith's own, has the decorative white and blue headbands. Let's go to an introduction and see how it treats introductions. So we'll go to numbers. Has thick pages in here like Old Testament in a glance in full color. Now we'll tell you, full color is kind of... Uh, par for the course today in a lot of study Bibles. In 1997, it was not. I'm trying to think of another full color or study Bible that had full color. And this has thicker pages, which I wonder the thickness of the pages, if it would fall out easier. I don't know. But it's not regular Bible paper. These full color pages are not. So let's take our, keep our journey to 
Numbers, excuse me, Leviticus, excuse me. So, you know, quite a good introduction, Leviticus. I need my books of the Bible refreshed here, obviously. <laughs> so a couple pages. Let's see what it's got in between the Testaments, if anything. The Nelson Study Bible Complete Study System, NKJV. And another thing I've wondered that I haven't researched is if this didn't turn into the NKJV Study Bible. Not sure if it did or not. Here's another full color section. We're in Zechariah. Malachi. No. It did do the uh, uh, Harmony of the Gospels in the middle. But then it just starts with Matthew. It is red letter. Show you another one of these full color spots. And then we'll measure the print size in this. We'll see what the print size is. So this is one of those hidden gems. You know, in history, it's really a truism. All it takes is one generation for truth to be lost. I think it's a lot less than that, actually. And so great study Bibles like this, it uh, takes very little time. It's really light print. I will say that. Not all print size is the same, as you hear me say a lot. So, let's see. You know, it's measuring out like nine and a half point. It just doesn't look like that to me because it's so light. Now, at the bottom, it's it's a very deep, dark, rich print type. A little smaller, but it actually looks very really easier to read. And it looks to be exactly eight point print. So let's see what we've got at the back. Revelation is apocalyptic literature. Has a subject index, subject in index to annotation and features. It is red letter in Revelation. It's over 2,200 pages. I'm on 22, set 19. We're looking at Roman citizenship. That's good. You know, like Paul, they were granted Roman citizenship in mass in Tarsus at some point, like 300 BC or something. So 2204 to 22, so 18 pages of subject index concordance. You know, for years, because the New King James was a translation in flux, they wouldn't come out with a uh, exhaustive concordance. They finally did. So the concordance is 195 pages. That's a that's a big concordance. That's comprehensive. So this was really like a pioneer in the study Bible field. With the full color, a lot of the boxes, not as much as the life application was. But still a, a real pioneer. And, you know, the New King James was always kind of the... Uh, stepbrother of the block as they would call it people call it because and, and it's just got nelson's old basic maps in it they never did great for the maps i'm glad they've updated their maps but you you had the king james and the niv always battled for the top spot and then the nasb was considered to those that were scholars like your josh mcdowell chuck swindoll charles stanley they all preached out of the nasb i think john MacArthur back in those days preached out of the nasb i need to do a video i had that in my mind to do at some point to what popular preachers what translation popular preachers use and so this is before the esv so the new king james was trying to come up with a niche because King James people tended to really like King James. And then the new translation people already kind of had, if you wanted to, easy to read. You'd have, you know, the Living Bible or the, the uh, 
uh, NIV, and then if you wanted something specific, you'd have the NASB, something that was more literal, more technical. And the NLT was just kind of in its embryonic stages, the NLT translation that would fit in with the NIV. So the New King James, I remember the statistics, always had somewhere about 12% of the Bible market. And I'm not sure where it is now, but it has had a lot of staying power. And because a lot of people want something that's very similar to the King James, a little easier to read. And then they've just been coming out with a plethora of your MEVs and your uh, KJV ERs and all of this. So let's see, the size of this is about nine and a half by six and 3.75 and two inches. So it's a great size for a study Bible. It's not huge by any stretch of the imagination. We'll do it compared with my KJV Cambridge text only. And you can see it's, it's smaller, obviously, the text only, but it doesn't have any notes in it. It doesn't have any reference. It doesn't have anything in it, just pure Bible, which I really like. So it's, it's an eminently carryable Bible. It's not huge. Like, you know, like uh, the Life Application Bible is a little bigger, I think, and uh, um, ESV study. Even the New King James study, which currently has the most notes put out by Nelson, 870,000 uh, words of notes, which is huge amount of notes. But the Nelson Study Bible, Nelson Complete Study Bible, NKJV, I think they also make it in the King James. You know, I'm not an NKJV guy. My first Bible basically was an NKJV. Sister Waldron bought me for our wedding date and I read that thing and I used it at Bible college for years gradually went to King James she was like oh man I thought it was a King James she was very apologetic I said well don't I still got it and uh, I've read it a bunch and I'm, I will tell you like in Philippians 2 where it says press towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus the new King James at least at that time translated the the upward call and it helped me see what Paul was trying to communicate there. So I appreciated that. Um, so the Nelson Study Bible, Nelson's Complete Study Bi System, this is a 28885B. You probably get it really inexpensive on either Amazon, Abe books you could try, which Amazon just bought Abe, but still there's things on Abe that aren't on Amazon. I'm not sure. Maybe they're in the process of getting that. And then eBay. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.